सब्सक्राइब कीजिए धे आई चैनल को और बेल आइकन को दबाइए लेटेस्ट वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए Recently a new milestone has been achieved in the history of marine exploration researchers of an international collaboration on June 21st declared that they have completed mapping nearly 1/5 of the world's ocean floor this project was launched in the year 2017 and since then the surveying of the ocean bed as per modern standards has gone up from 6% to 19% In today's edition of our DNS we will know what ocean mapping is and why it is important announcing a new milestone in the history of marine exploration an international collaboration of researchers declared they had completed mapping nearly 1/5 of the world's ocean floor the nippon foundation gebco seabed 2030 project which is coordinating to complete the mapping of the entire ocean floor by 2030 said on world hydrography day that is on june 21st that it had added 1.45 crore square kilometers of new bathymetric data to its latest grid As per the project director of Seabet 2030 this project is a leap forward in achieving the mission by the year 2030 it will empower the world to make policy decisions use the ocean sustainability and undertake scientific research that will be based on detailed bathymetric information of the earth's seabed Bathymetry, the measurement of the shape and depth of the ocean floor. It is instrumental in understanding several natural phenomena, including ocean circulation, tides, and biological hotspots. It also provides key inputs for navigation, forecasting tsunamis, exploration for oil and gas projects, building offshore wind turbines, fishing resources, and for laying cables and pipelines. The data is very valuable during disaster situations. In one such situation, with the help of previously mapped seafloor, scientists in Japan were able to reconstruct the forces behind the destructive 2011 Tohoku earthquake. As per a Seabed 2030 document, the need for a bathymetric base map of the southeastern Indian Ocean also became particularly evident in the search for the Malaysia's airline flight MH370 which disappeared on 8 March 2014 above all the maps would also ensure a better understanding of climate change since floor features including canyons and underwater volcanoes influence phenomena such as the vertical mixing of ocean water and ocean currents which act as a conveyor belt of warm and cold water thus influencing the weather and climate climate change has affected the flow of these currents more knowledge about them will help scientists in creating models forecasting the future behavior of the climate including sea level rise a map of the entire global ocean floor would also help further in achieving the united nations sustainable development goal to conserve and sustainably use oceans seas and marine resources now let's know about the project seabed 2030 it is a global initiative in collaboration between japan's non-profit nippon foundation and the general bathymetric chart of the oceans gebco the gebco is the only intergovernmental organization with a mandate to map the entire ocean floor and traces its origin to the gebco chart series initiated in 1903 by the prince albert i of monaco the project was launched at the united nations ocean conference in 2017 in terms of its work it coordinates and oversees the sourcing and compilation of bathymetric data from different parts of the world's ocean through its five centers into the freely available gebco grid in the past The satellites and planes carrying altimeter instruments have been able to provide data about the ocean floor. The Seabed 2030 project aims to obtain higher quality information that has a minimum resolution of 1000 meter at all spots 
using equipment such as deep water hull mounted sonar systems and more advanced options such as underwater vehicles AUVs for this the project aims to rope in governments private companies and international organizations to acquire the data